Okay guys, RC here. Uh, the video today is about the new Fusion shoe. As you can see, we tightened up the hook. We made a little bit more of a pronounced angle there for guys to see to adjust. And we gave a little bit more throw in the front. And you can see, this car's got an old shoe and a new shoe. You can see a little bit more throw here. Um, the one reason why we got the new shoes made was because the the old shoes would slide. Some people didn't like that. Um, you could have a loss of power if your shoes weren't set up right. These are much tighter. They don't slide. Now that does give you more prone to bending. Just FYI, because if you, something's got to give if you hit the shoe. So uh, the only advantage to this was bending. This should give you more power, and you should be able to make less you run less shoe tension. So there's a big advantage there. Um, the shoes are very flat. Some new shoes. Sanding block. Shoes completely sanded. So that shoe, I don't adjust shoes until they're sanded. So I'm gonna take this this car that I ran at Jim Singer's. I did pretty well. I think I finished fifth, but uh, I was kind of a bonehead. Had a really bad last two lanes. Um, just, I actually ran the shoes in the race. Um, the shoes ran very very well. The one there's one other small thing. These shoes are a little tighter on the tab area, so some of the cars, if they have a little flashing, you're gonna have to, you know, just wiggle the shoe a few times, and the shoe will free right up. If there's any catch catch bind there, there should not be. I'll try and get a good angle in there. Shoe lays flat. This is a 12 double long. She lays nice and flat. So, using these shoes, um, they should they should allow you to run less shoe tension and get more power and more consistency. So, uh, hope to hear some feedback about them. If you guys try them, please let me know. Uh, hope to hear from you soon.